Senate on cusp of passing rebuke to Trump on national emergency declaration. The Senate is poised to rebuke President Trump over his national emergency declaration at the U.S.-Mexico border after Trump shot down a compromise brokered by GOP senators. Senior Mike Lee R. Utah, four decades, Congress has been giving far too much legislative power to the executive branch. While there was a tent, Lee's announcement ensures there will be majority support for the disapproval resolution, which already passed the House. Senate passage, although Congress lacks the votes needed to override Trump's veto, the Senate vote would still stand as an embarrassing rejection of a key Trump initiative at the hands of his own party. Lee's effort to craft legislation limiting the scope of presidential emergency powers going forward was seen as a way to limit GOP defections on the separate disapproval resolution vote. Trump called Lee, four GOP senators had already announced plans to vote against Trump and for the disapproval resolution Thursday, giving it the majority support needed to pass. But one of those said that outcome is now out of reach. There was an effort, numerous efforts, to engage with the vice president and the president, said senior. John Cornyn Art, I don't know of any president that likes to give up power, Cornyn said. Trump has been warning GOP senators against crossing him on a vote that he has cast as a question of border security you not a constitutional issue of separation of powers, as some GOP senators see it. Speaking Wednesday at the White House, Trump said it would be a bad thing to vote against the declaration. Well see whether or not I have to do the veto, Trump said. It will be, I think, all very unsuccessful, regardless of how it all works out, Trump said of his border effort. A lot of monies, Trump also expressed his frustration with the GOP in a tweet on Wednesday. Republican senators are overthinking tomorrow's vote on national emergency. It is very simply, earlier Wednesday, in another blow to Lee's efforts, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi D. California said that her chamber, many Senate Republicans had started to align behind Lee's measure, which would amend the National Emergencies Act to say an emergency declaration would automatically expire after 30 days unless both chambers of Congress affirmatively vote to keep it. If passed into law, Lee's bill could impact Trump's national border emergency in the future, since ongoing national emergency declarations must be reaffirmed annually. In remarks on the Senate floor on Wednesday, Senate Minority Leader Charles E. Schumer DNY called the measure crap. Our Republican friends are saying with this fig leaf, grant me the courage to stand up to President Trump, but not yet, Schumer said. And next time, the other GOP senators who plan to support the disapproval resolution are Susan Collins Maine, Lisa Murkowski Alaska and Rand Paul Kentucky. Hugh Min, Kim at washpost.com.